lead is a sled is not easily a change to gold, but it is possible through the unwise 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 yeah gravel. If water can be drawn from blood, mortality can be taken from a mortal, peeled back like a sticky film. So you pull it off. The gulf between man and unman is great. You traveled the distance, I provided the means, but you crossed on your own. Travel slaps her head and there and rakes her hand through her hair. Bad travel. Altars are too flawed to be made to last. Still they break. They must be dragged kicking and screaming into an unhealthy new mold. Unhealthy, so the ritual was flawed. Shortcuts must be made, and they can break the mold yet. For it is not always the mold that breaks, but the substance poured within it. Forced something into a shape it was not meant to be, and it breaks. I thought the material was of stronger stuff. You have been broken. But I am immortal, surely. That was a success. You have survived long, immortal one, but you have become the prey of the creature that is life. She cups her hand, then reverses it, forming a canopy with her hands. The body is but a hut for the soul. But now no one dwells in your hut. What went wrong with the ritual? Puzzle, blessed, broken, beautiful, beautiful mortal man. Ritual was not, 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 not a finished thing. Ravel's brows wrinkle and her talons peek at her hair, tucking on a long strand. The ritual gave you what you wanted, but okay, but the ritual gave you what you wanted, but great were the costs, the casting of shadows, the quiet, violent deaths of the mind, the pain taking emptiness. These things are dangerous are in such a fragile vessel, no matter how strong a mortal man regret them and the ritual do I. A casting of shadows. Ungrateful shades, but ungrateful without cause. The shades, they hate you, nameless one, for they are fathered by you. Your children, once forsaken, they will never forgive. They will do everything they can to destroy the parent. Such is the way of children. Okay, how do I father shades? Oh shit. We've been tracked down. You cast shadows on existence, nameless one. With every death, a shadow arises fresh from the fields of your flesh. They wander for a time, but always they return, looking to murder their parent. That is the way of many offspring. Emerald purses her lips in disapproval, and suddenly pokes you in the chest with a talon. And thankless young men such as yourself. Tell me more about this ritual. The ritual gave you what you wanted, but great were the costs. Yeah, this is a rebuild of text. The quiet, violent death of the mind. A thousand deaths and you recovered from each. Not so the mind. The mind is much more fragile. The scars run deep and do not heal. The brain is encased in a hard bone shell. Difficult to breach, but with no defense against that which eats it from within. The ritual gave you what you want. Yeah, great for the cause. Pain taking emptiness. You have a hole where... Where? 
where your mortality once lay within your shell. He makes her hand into a fist and shakes it. Rattle, rattle goes the hollow man, a baby's plaything, with naught but a tiny stone that a clatters and clacks in your frame. Now we can ask the final question. Despite these problems, it seems the ritual worked. Updated my journal. Do you doubt travel? Of course I delivered on what was promised. Not long after the spell I drew to a close, I killed you to see if it had worked. You struggled so, but I kept my grip tight and watched you die your first of many deaths. Travel clacks her teeth. Then was I alert in its flaws. Ego enwraps us like a prison. For God I did that it oft time serves as a shield. Rebel clicks her tongue. My pretty, pretty thing, there is much wisdom and understanding in the truth. But life is a preparation for the ultimate goal, death. Our life is a means by which we learn how to die, if we forget such a thing. So that's when you discovered I had lost my memories when I died. Yes, unfortunate. Without the mortality to hold such memories tight, the shell of body is. So you took my mortality from me, is it still intact? I will seem surprised and alarmed. Yes, yes, yes. Be not for a broken mortality. If you are here, here, here are talking to me, intact your mortality must be. Such a thing cannot, not, not be destroyed as long as you exist. You are an anchor of your mortal soul. As long as you are intact, so shall it be. May it last ye are you. Rebel smiles and gives a wheezing laugh, for a life swallowed you and spit you out. Yeah, it swallowed him, but I don't know if it if it came out of that end. It's more the interjection. Yeah, enough of this. Look, Rebel, you took my mortality from me, and it has caused me more more harm than good. I'll take it back now. You have had it all it over long, I think. Ah, you make a demand. Rebel's black point who veined eyes sharpen and twist, thinking a disturbing awareness. She bears her yellow fangs. No, no, no. That travel I will not do. What is undone cannot be done. Why not? Travel cannot give such a thing to you, my precious man, for Revel has nothing to give. I never possess you or your mortality, though I wish to keep them both in my garden as selfish affections keepsakes. Praise the patterns of your flesh, but such things Ravel could not bring herself to do. Why not? Ye loved him, and I breaks her silence. He sounds astonished. You loved him, ye did. Ravel gives a low white smile. That's so hard for you to believe, fiendling. She cackles softly to herself. Does Ravel being Ravel and thus a myth not deserve to carry such a feeling in her black rambled heart? Paul from Grace says, No creature is undeserving of such a feeling, Ravel. They speak softly. The histories do not paint such a compassionate picture of you, however. The past is past, and history is care little for our speaking the truth of it. Ravel frowns, then her voice drops slightly, threateningly, as she studies Grace. The feeling brushed me, yes. Now hold your silver tongue, abyssal daughter. I need not your soft words to club the air here. The man and I shall speak. And you shall bow out of this, I shall attend to you shortly.